Well, hello, coffee time, friends. It's coffee time. Can we talk a little bit here? We are going to talk about a super, super simple supper tonight. We've been out working in flowers. I finally picked up some dirt today. Boy, have we have been busy all evening, ain't we, Mom? Yeah, I had company, too. And so, we're going to have... What happened to the ends of those? I cut them off because I knew you wouldn't eat them. Oh, I figured you ate them. <laughs> so, this is the Micro Pro Grill. It's still on sale. Someone asked me then, I said, John, I wish you had told me that was going to be on sale. I wanted to get that. It still is. Plus, you get $48 worth of two tongs and uh, the ring that goes in it. You got all that. And it's still another week till Wednesday or until supplies last. And they just dropped a whole load of stuff today for 50% off for birthday. So, that's Ooh. your Tupperware update tonight. I've not even seen that. Mom, where have you been all day? I've been busy. They dropped it this morning. Well. All right, so let's put these in there. I'm just going to slice them up. I didn't took the ends off because Mama don't want those ends. I know picky, Mama. Picky, picky. Oh, I'm not picky. No. <laughs> I'm not picky. Oh. Put the camera on that. It is, ain't it? Can y'all see that? No, I can't. There it is. All right. Man. Sorry, folks. So all I'm doing is just taking these brats, and these were, this is just three, but there there was uh, more than I used in the night. They're just, these are just farm, Farmington. This is what our store has. I don't know if those Save are. Save a lot, friend. And I'm just, this is super simple. You can do this in a skillet if you don't have a micro pro grill yet, but a lot of y'all have ordered them. You got another week, folks, to Wednesday night, and then these will be gone for. This is a birthday thing. It may be another year. It could be longer. But uh, I'll drop a. Yeah. You, the comments are in, on our page for. You can see the price and everything. And you can also um, order with the link I'm going to put below here or a link. Any, any of Mama's Tupperware links. I've, I've dropped a bunch of Tupperware things on there yesterday and today. So it shouldn't be hard to find one of her links if you're interested. And these are while supplies last. As is everything when it gets to running now. And you can see all the 50% off stuff on there. You can see everything. I'm going to try to put these single layer. All the single layers. All the single layers. That ain't the real song. I don't own the rights to any songs. <laughs> I don't want to hear from anybody about that because I don't own any rights. And I was saying single layers. So that could be an original if I was really doing it today. But I was doing it to the ten of the others, so we won't claim nothing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm just putting those in there like that. You can put the whole thing in there and it'll be, you know, striped as it is sometimes. But that's it, folks. That's all you have to do. Now that's super simple. And I'm going to put this, press it right down on top of it. Y'all have heard us talk about that before. That's going in the microwave. How many minutes? Eight? Mm, let's go with eight. Mom, let's see what you look like. Folks, that is the simplest supper you'll ever make. Cut up some weenies, cut up some smoked uh, brats, and put them in there. This is sauerkraut just in a jar. I'm going to put a piece of bread on a plate, and I'm going to put... You want a hamburger bun? I've got this Hawaiian bread here, Mama. Okay. Is that what you want? And I'm just going to lay a piece of bread and put mustard and put sauerkraut and brats. Whoa! Yes, that can be a supper. You got you got your cabbage, you got your meat, you got your bread. We're talking a whole meal. We're not just having this because we've been busy. I tell Mama about lunchtime today. So you know what I'd love to have tonight is some good brats in sauerkraut. And she said, you know what? That sounds pretty good. That sounds real good, in fact. That's a supper it is. Then when I came home with dirt, I thought we'd wait till the cool of the evening and do some flowers and do. Mama said, no, let's get that done. Let's get that done. Yes, ma'am, we will. So that's what we did and I'm glad it's done. I'm gonna wet water them in a minute. They'll look better in a day or two. We'll show them to y'all when we go out on the porch one day. Uh, but this is a super simple supper. No sides, no nothing. Simple with a little bit of mustard. Do y'all ever do anything like that? Sunny and warm. Where are you, sunny and warm? Where's sunny and warm? You're due. Vancouver, Washington. Good. Teresa. Wow. It is sunny and hot here to me. Mama, have you been hot today? No, not really. 
I got a little warm out there earlier. Did you get a little warm? Yeah, but not hot. Not hot. Not hot. Nice. Not hot. Just warm, she said. Just warm. What are y'all eating fact, tonight? I wore a sweater all morning. <laughs> well, it was 48 degrees earlier. Oh, Lordy. When I got up. We've had some egg and cheese sandwiches. Oh, Joanne, oh. you can't beat that. Egg sandwich for suppers. That's one of my favorite treats. Oh, yeah. Um, egg sandwich of the morning is great. It tastes great. But at the supper time, you can slow down and enjoy it. At the morning, use if I'm eating egg sandwiches in, on the go or it's quick. Fix it to go, you'll say. Or... Said, Fix it to go, Mama, <laughs> if she's up. Sometimes Mama gets up and does that. Sometimes she don't. We've been bragging on this bread like we owned it. We don't own it. This is just called Nature's Own Hawaiian. I just hadn't seen it. I've had the Hawaiian rolls and I like them, but this is the bread we're going to use tonight. See them pineapples? I think them pineapples is what sells it for me. Uh, I can't remember if I got that at the dollar store or I got this bread. But we're, we're not sponsored or anything. It's just delicious, delicious bread. See? It's, you can see how good at those mm. you can smell the goodness I mean, it's just good so that's what we're having and this is for you mama you're so kind water and bread tonight mama well i got the spry, so i'm up on you <laughs> i'm having coffee well i see you're up too mm. that went down the wrong way uh oh you don't want nothing to go down the wrong way. Is there two ways in there? Well, we always say it goes down. Mama always says it went down the wrong pipe. That's right. You I get strangled and go. Where there's one. With a flap. There's two. There's a bronchial and a trachea. I'm not a doctor. Hello, John and Mama. It's been hot. Deborah, it's been hot here too. We've had a Fort nice Walton breeze. Beach, Florida. Mm -mm -mm. Deborah says she ate egg salad sandwich. Now, egg salad is a wonderful summer treat. You'll be seeing yeah. some of that here at the Davis house. Mama will make egg salad for lunch, and then she'll have some for supper. We'll slice the tomato, have egg salad. That's a good treat, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, too sweet, hot bread. I don't know what you were saying there. Who said too that? Too sweet of bread. Uh -uh. Carolyn says... Too sweet, a hot bread. Hmm, we're not having a hot, but it is sweet. You could toast the bread. We had Olive Garden. Oh, oh Patty. Wow. I like Olive Garden. I made homemade waffles. You know what? Uh, I love pancakes for supper. Melita, Melita, is that your name? I'm sorry if I messed up your name, Fowler. I thought about that all the way home. I thought, you know, it's a Southern tradition. They say it's waffles and chicken and i've never had that but i sure have had some good waffles and i really was thinking about that driving home today i thought you know waffles would be really good who's got time to make waffles in the morning unless saturday morning or sunday morning but sunday morning seems rushed to me as it does a work morning it's saturday yeah, morning though. it does i smell your brats yeah, they might need to be checked on. they've been in there five minutes well a little over five. Oh. Mm. Stepped on the side of my foot. Throw. Six minutes. I've been there six minutes. They may be them, but they may not. Who knows? Columbus, Ohio. Hey, Kathy. Columbus, Ohio's in the house. Sometimes this micro pro grill will fix things quicker than you think it will. Because you're just used to how long it takes in a skillet or something. So let's see what it looks like when Mama unveils it. Oh, it looks like done. It looks like done. It looks like it's good on that. Mm hmm. Oh, if y'all could smell that, it reminds me of a campfire. Mmm. Mama, that smells so good. Yeah. We want to put the, you going to heat the crowd or just eat the crowd cold? I'll probably eat mine cold. You want yours heated? No, not particularly. I'll probably just eat mine like that. Folks, if you're looking for something good, quick, simple, easy. But I get some of these snow brats. Keep them on hand. We use them for lots of stuff. I used them on cabbage pizza the other night, and it was delicious. Tonight we're using it. Same kind of meal with cabbage, which is sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's cabbage. And then the brats. Mama, let's bless it. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for the blessing our bodies with it, dear Lord. And we just ask you to watch over us. Lead, guide, and direct us, dear Lord. And give us the words, the same the actions to take. In all your glory and your honor, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we pray for each and every prayer request that's given in. And we pray for all the spoken and unspoken, dear Lord. Every need, dear Lord, we just pray that you'll uh, put a hedge protection around the children as they finish out this school year and begin their summers, dear Lord, we just pray that you'll watch over and lead God and direct them. And keep them out of sight, keep them out of trouble, and keep them in safe and out of harm's way, dear Lord. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, how on earth are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm putting some of this spicy mustard. Now, this is just something I get at the Walmart. It's Sandwich Pal. Sweet and spicy mustard. And I'm just going to put a little water. I'm going to put a little bit of it. You want some of it, Mama? No. <laughs> no. Not your little bit either. And I'm going to put a little bit of regular. This is just French's yellow. That was the mustard. Is it about empty already? It just got a little air, Mama. I believe that will move me. <laughs> I feel like you need a little extra. You need a spatula for that. No, ma'am. I just happen to be sitting near the spatula location. I'm going to use half of one of them free tongs you can get. I know they're tongs. I know you're supposed to use them together. But there's no rules in the kitchen. You can do what you want because look how good these do. I can just go right in here and I can scoop them up. And look, get a whole scoop of them. I like, I use them for this a lot. I use them to scoop just like a good fork. Mama, how does that look? That looks good. Just like that. Now, Mama loves a good weenie on a fold over mustard, don't you, Mama? Yeah, I eat that. That's her little snack. Sometimes I'll say, Mama, did you have lunch? I had a weenie on a fold over. What's a fold over? One piece of bread fold over that weenie. With mustard. With mustard. That's it. Now, Mama, you want me to drain you out some crown here? Just a little. Put it on one end. On the side. No, put it right here. I'll leave it that way if I can't get it cheap. Most of the time Mama says, on the side. I want everything on the side. That way if I don't like it then. You can dig it off. I tried. Don't run your whole meal, does it, Mama? No. Mm, I am looking forward to this like meatloaf or something. This mm -hmm. ain't just a frozen dinner kind of looking forward to. This is deliciousness. And I'm going to show it to y'all. Now, you'd think you'd be finished with something like that, wouldn't you? Not me. What's this? i got to have me a little drizzle of mustard on top. Back and forth. Do you want a drizzle of mustard? No. Mama, you was awful serious about that now. Now look, folks, that's some good eats. I don't care who you are. You can use regular light bread. You can use this Hawaiian light bread. You can use toast, or you can use whole wheat, or hot dog bun, or a hamburger bun. If you want to get all fancy about it. Like, if you got company over, give them a hamburger bun. But if it's just family, you're going to give them a piece of bread. <laughs> that's the way it works in a moment. Yeah, whatever you got. Whatever you got. Here we go. Going in for a sampling. That's delicious. <laughs> what do you think, Mama? Mm -hmm. It kind of takes you back to the fair. When you get them smothered smoked Polish dogs or or uh, smoked whatever you whatever they call them at the fair. These are smoked Bratswurst. But when you get those and they're covered in kraut and mustard, it's good. And when it's hot outside, this is hot food, but not too hot. Especially when you've been out working. I know that's a lot of mustard, somebody said. I heard you. Yeah, I probably was me over here. Well, you know what? That's a matter of opinion. Because when you sometimes keep a jar of mustard or bottle of mustard in your desk at work and you eat them on saltines you call that lunch this that's that pitiful 
mustard crackers. That's pitiful. It is, Mama. It's what I do. I know it, but that's pitiful. It's good. And sometimes I put a little Frank's hot sauce on a cracker. Peanut butter on cracker. I can see. Sometimes I do that too. To me, if I've got a pack of crackers, I've got lunch. A bottle of mustard and jar of peanut butter, you've got it made. Mama never did have to do lunch because she worked in a cafeteria. So sometimes she'll say, is that what you're taking for lunch? I'll say, yeah. And I keep a bottle of mustard. Mustard don't have to be refrigerated. I keep a bottle of mustard in the in my desk drawer. I usually have some saltines in there, club crackers. You put a little mustard on them, you got a lunch. So good. Sherry says, Sherry, do you do that too? I hope you do, Sherry, because I need a friend. <laughs> I agree with Mama. That's pitiful. <laughs> she is <It's> pitiful. <laughs> Gina Gail Young, Gina, Gina Gail Young, that ain't pitiful. It's pitiful. Hi, John and Mom. Somebody <laughs> else eating crackers and mustard. Tell me you are. No, they did. No, they did bless it. Judy, yeah, we did bless it. Thank you, Judy. I love mustard on saltines or hot sauce on saltines. I've got a friend, Glenda. Glenda, Glenda Turner. Thank you. For being, it's good. It's good. It really is. the The crackers is like the bread. The mustard is just spicy and vinegary and good. It's low calorie, and the hot sauce is just delicious on them. I don't know about you. Well, sometimes the peanut butter is a little heavy, and sometimes, you know. It can, I don't know. If you got to be alert all day, peanut butter can even make you kind of tired sometimes. Or something. I don't know. I'd be a little sleepy and eat peanut butter and crackers. <laughs> Dean's like mustard and sauerkraut. Mmm. I sure do. Now, this is sauerkraut, and it's not just this brand. But when I find when I buy in the jars, it's clear or whiter or something. The cans, usually it's a darker color, y'all, and it's a little stronger. So now if I were going to use a can of crown, I probably would cook it a little bit. Maybe add some water. I don't know. But this is good right out of the jar. I use this on hot dogs right out of the jar. Now I just opened this one out of the pantry. So it's not in the refrigerator. If it come out of the refrigerator, then I probably would have put it in there just to knock the chill off, as Mama says, but I just put it in a bowl. But now this will go in the refrigerator, and if I eat on a hot dog or something, I just get it out of the refrigerator. Depending on if the hot dog's real hot, I'll just put it on there if I want to put a lot, but if I want to put a lot, I'll break the chill. Break the chill. I'm having me some y'all sweet tea this weekend. I have been in withdrawals. We won't drink it this late, the peach. And mm -mm. that's what I like the best is the peach. Now we have the y'all's regular because it comes in decaf. But if we drink the y'all's sweet tea for supper and then the have to try tea. the peach, then it's got the caffeine. But that's fine. Because I'll drink it for lunch and then I drink it sometimes in the morning with my coffee. I have right out here with a, uh, with a uh, container, container of, of tea and a container of coffee. And a container of water. Don't forget your water you take all the time. I do take all that. He needs help to the van because he has so much to drink. <laughs> Mom, so you need some help. So I think I can get this saddlebag out there, Mama. <laughs> I've got a thermal thing at Tupperware makes it airtight sealed up that holds my water and I can throw it in my briefcase and then I've got my cups in my hand two handles in one hand so I can run right out here with some tea some coffee and some and I've got a spill proof coffee cup too I learned that the hard way but you know, you really drink a lot I drink water all the time 
I really never. I try to never not have some water with me. Because I drink on it all the time. I got a, some water sitting right here right now. I got coffee sitting right here. And this time tomorrow night, I'll probably just be drinking you know, sweet tea that's pe uh, peach. peach flavored. I would drink it tonight, but I got to work tomorrow. Oh. And I got to get up early. That's sad. I like to get up early. I'll be up even earlier Saturday. True story. When I wake up on a, on a work day, you know, I like to sleep till at least 4.30 if I'm awake earlier. And I think, oh, let's get some sleep. You got a lot to do today. But if I wake up at 4 o'clock on a Saturday morning, I'm ready. Coffee's calling. Porch is calling. Especially now that it's moderate. I know the morning, the sun's coming up. The front of our face, house faces eastward. I can go out there and sit, and it just starts getting blue. Just a twilight, just a little blue. And the birds start waking up. And Are you the reason they wake up so early and start singing in church? It's on me, Mama. Yeah, I figured it If was. it wasn't for me, you would have no bird sounds. Oh. I figured you was waking them up early. I'm the bird waker up around here. We used to have, I, for the lack of a better, I don't know, they were wild, I think. I don't know. I think someone had either lost their roosters or their chickens or something, but we had a field below our house with an old abandoned barn, and there was some roosters roosting down there. And they roosted for years down there. So I think they were hens and you know, roosters both. And every once in a while you see chickens in the field. They were, you know, we had coyotes and they kind of took care of them after coyotes showed up. But before the coyotes and the bears, we have a black bear running right here in the neighborhood. And uh, before those all showed up, there were some wild roosters for the lack of them. I mean, nobody lived down there. Nobody lived anywhere near it, so they had to be... We're the closest ones. Right, but they, I guess they found enough to... Anyhow, of the morning, they would crow and scream and holler. And when I was younger, I'd think, oh, them roosters. And... Um, when your daddy had chickens, they well, sure crow. <laughs> yeah, we used to have chickens here, but those weren't ours down there. Those were wild. They were red. With big old black feathers and green in them. You'd find the feathers laying around that have black and green in them. And they were somebody's chickens at one time. Yeah, they were somebody's. But I think they went rogue. Because they was down that barn for years, wasn't they? Mm -hmm. And they'd come up to our barn and get feed. I know they did. And I'd throw a little extra out. I mean, the only time I didn't really care for them was in the morning. The rest of the time I liked them. Uh, good evening, John and Mama. Well, good evening to you, Janet. How are you? Hey, Sean. Hey, Molly. How are you? Hey, Sean, again. There's a two Seans in a row. Hey, Tanya. 4 a.m. is the best. It is, Tanya. I agree. Uh, I woke up this morning at 4, and Not I didn't get it. Four. Huh? Not at 4. I woke up this morning at 4, and I get it to 4.30. Uh, but it was a work day. If it had been a Saturday, I thought, let's go. Let's get this day going. I love early morning. You can just sit and think. You can first thing you got to do is get you a cup of coffee, and then you can just see it to ponder over it, and meditate, or just take a moment to do nothing and think of nothing. If you can do that, sometimes I can't do that. What's that blue on there? Is it telling us something we're doing wrong? I don't know. Those are uh, comments. I don't know why they come up right like that. Some of y'all may know. Maybe I, does that mean I froze y'all? That's not moving with the comments. Oh, I think when I freeze them, that blue comes up there. Oh. So, Mama, I you watch the blue. If it comes up, you say you froze them. Frozen. Got Country it. ham, Kathy. You, oh, goodness. Beans and potatoes. Yum. Hey, Teresa. 
Sound like Barris is awesome to watch. I love his name. Well, they're awesome to watch until they come and get your stuff. Or they try to get in your door or your car or something. If you leave something in there. We've not seen one on this property. But there's trail cams. People with pictures of them in their garage or their carports. People with pictures of them in their, gr in their garbage. Less than a mile from here. Yeah, a lot less than a mile. In both directions. There's one that lives up that way west and we've all seen him you know and then there's one downtown that just rumbles around and um, he's been at the pizza he's spot he's a city bear he's a city bear <laughs> he's a city bear this country bear he's been seen by lots of people one of my friends put on there yesterday here's our new pet big black and up bear. at Wado they had several of them. yeah they have like they go up there and watch them there's a dump up there and people drive up there to see the bears playing in the garbage they have several of them. don't don't trust them they're wild animals folks and they move quick they can be out of a dumpster over the dumpster and on you in quicker than you say scat birds start chirping around 4 a.m. here uh, no need for alarms. Yeah, they do here early too. Uh, Edward, they start, I guess, about four. Um, it's not daylight when they start. They start at my bedroom window. I hear them back there. I uh, think one's got a nest above your bedroom window out there. One of, yeah, they did have. One of them uh, has got a lot to say in the mornings. A lot. Uh, I hear it pretty regular. One day, one time last summer, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning they were chirping. They must have been disturbed. But they were. I thought, why are the birds so active this early? But they must have been disturbed. This is the neighbor's cat. Can I don't know. I can't go to sleep till 2 a.m. So 4 is early for me. Yeah, Teresa, that would be. A big black bear in our neck. Oh, do you have one too, Teresa? Now I'm telling you, them big black bears, you don't mess with them. Just let them do. Um, don't hear her. You talking about mama? Mm, I've got the microphone on. It's plugged up. Mama, speak louder. Use the delivery newspaper during the overnight. And love seeing all that wildlife. Did you see a lot? Amy, I bet you did. Maggie's either growling or snoring one in there. John, look at my comments, please. Linda, that's the same thing you said last night, but I never did see your comments. Linda, make your comments instead of just tell me to look at them. Maybe next time. This is twice I've seen look where you want me them. to look at them. So make them, and I'll try to see them again. Right up down there again. Go slow so you can see. Y'all give me way too much credit for picking and choosing comments or from folks that ain't like that. They just roll and you read them as you can read them. And hello, John. Hello. Oh, that's just somebody else. Uh, we have lots of bears. Do you, PJ? I had a bird that built a nest in a tree by my porch every time I went outside. It would fly. That's, you know, Emma, that's something I don't understand. We put flowers on the porch, and every year, birds build nests in the fire pots. Now, if I catch them before they get eggs in them, I put a rock in them, and they move on before they get too involved. Because if you leave them in there, they'll kill your flowers, and they'll be a big mess. But every once in a while they get eggs in them and then you know you just gotta let nature go but it always amazes me that they have here anyway maybe not everywhere but here they have there's a tree on every corner there's trees 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 there's bushes there's lots and lots of places and they want to get on the flowers and it's not like oh the flowers don't i water them every day they get wet. well they wanted pretty uh landscaping around their house <laughs> I love the birds. I am a bird 
But we've I even got a wish to work. go in and out of that pot where that nest is at with the eggs in it. Yesterday. Did you, did you, put, you put it in there. I left it in there, didn't yeah, you? it's in there. I seen it going And uh, we've got a, even got a wishing well there. They could build out there. They could build anywhere. Maggie's drinking water. She was in our snoring or growling or something. I just don't know why they want to pick the front porch. It's not like we don't use our front porch. We use our front porch probably more than the average American uses our front porch. We're out there every day. Three, four, five, eight, ten times a day. Mama's out there. Uh when I'm at work and then I'm out there the evening and I'm out there the morning every time Maggie goes out I'm on the porch it's a it's a big used area y'all know we use our porch so why would they feel comfortable I just don't I never I have told you they wanted pretty landscaping around their house like everybody else well I'm gonna buy that mama since that's the only thing that's Anybody selling me? Yeah. I hear Maggie. Yeah, Patricia, she has to get in on the action. She's just interested in seeing what we're doing. Did you get your hydrangeas planted? Yes, Kay. That's what couldn't wait till the cool of the evening. We, I was coming home a little late, but not too late. And I thought, well, we'll film and eat, and then we'll go out and plant the hydrangeas. Because we've been waiting on getting dirt. For but this we party. had company in that time, too. There, so we didn't. And Mama decided, let's get this done. But that's always Mama's theory. So at seven thirty, seven thirty. So let's go ahead and eat, <sighs> and I'll come back and water. So I can go water at eight eleven. Are you done out there? I quit. <laughs> and I'm through eating. I'm eating all of my. Sausage Would you like crab. some more, Mama? There's no. several brats left. I, I've got to crowd a couple more times and put on the top of it. I know. Did you eat, what did you eat for lunch? I don't remember now. That's code for she didn't eat it. Yeah, I did. I ate a, a, two biscuits. I ate a biscuit this morning and then with bacon and then I ate the other one at lunch. Oh, were there biscuits and bacon? Oh, Today? After you left. <laughs> there was no biscuits and bacon on the first shift. It's because I didn't get up. That must have come later. It was much later. <laughs> Sorry about that, dear. I'll fix you some this weekend. <laughs> well, look at there. I got a promise of biscuit and a bacon. <laughs> Y'all know I like to aggravate Mama all the time. So one morning this week, I forget which morning it was, she said from in her bedroom, Do you want me to get up and fix you some breakfast? I said, I sure do. <laughs> well, what do you want? I said, gravy and biscuits, fried apples, sausage, and some bacon, and maybe a pancake. She said, Oh, you're going to eat a lot this morning. <laughs> and I said, Okay. But you okay. didn't get you it. You said, okay. <laughs> I said, I'm only teasing. I'm headed out of here right now. I ain't got time to even eat an egg sandwich. Bye. Mm -hmm. You knew, though. Sounded good, though. You knew, though, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You can't get nothing over on Mama. When you got all that going on, I noticed just pulling You knew away. I was going to be cooking if I had all that, didn't you? Yeah, you done been in here, had it ready, and holler, Mom, I got breakfast ready. Big, I fix big breakfast. Mama will do eggs and sausage and biscuits or bacon, something like that. Mama's not one of those. Now, she'll do some gravy sometimes, but she don't, I guess she don't, you don't want it, do you? I mean, you're not like that's not no. your thing. I've cooked it like that all my life. But you'll eat it if I fix it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mama doesn't like that. She likes it. I like fried apples, Craig. Now, one yes, morning, not long ago, I said, who are you? I woke, I came through. I had, I said I woke up, but I had woke up and got coffee, and I would sitting here for a while, and I went back through there, and I walked through here, and she had hash browns and gravy and biscuits and eggs. and <laughs> They were frozen hash browns. Oh, they were so good. 
cheating hash browns are good. And I said, who are you? And she said, I just thought we'd have a good breakfast. Folks, that's all we got tonight. I know this is a gourmet meal, and you will be wanting that recipe. Mm -hmm. Bratsworth, cut up and put it in the Micro Pro Grill, or put them in your skillet, brown them on each side. Piece of light bread, put you some mustard on it, put your brats on there. It put you some good. sauerkraut and mustard. You got a meal, and it tastes good. And it took me back to the fair. It does every time I get brats or smoked sausage or whatever they have. Whatever they have, you know, they always have those big old rings of sausage and onions I and peppers. I always smell them, but I never have eaten them. I don't even like cooked peppers, hot pepper, green peppers, but they smell so good, and the onions smell so good. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. A real thing. You could have added some onions to these brats. You know, I should have used that onion stuff that uh, somebody sent us and tried that on them. I couldn't. It's late. Totally you could try that if you wanted to. Put yeah. your little onions in your brats. Cook them. Even if you like them old green peppers hot, that would be good in there. Peppers, onions, and brats on this would be delicious. If you like peppers. I don't like peppers. Mama don't like onions. <laughs> that leaves us out. But I love it to smell it. And I would like sweet peppers. I'm just giving you all ideas. Mm -hmm. Mama, you got anything you want to add tonight? No. Just thankful we had another good day. It's a blessed day. It's Thursday. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's Friday. It's a it's Memorial Day weekend. Are y'all ready for that? Now here on Memorial Day we decorate the graves. So we'll be at the cemetery at some point decorating. Mama makes her own flowers. I help her. We you know we used to have a flower shop. Once you have a flower shop, you kind of just do your own stuff, and you've it's just kind of like having a bakery. You make your own bread, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, but we've always done that. Mama's always always done her own flowers. Even before the flower shop. Even before the flower shop. That's the reason we have the flower shop. One of the reasons. But anyway, that's been years ago. We've not had the fire shop. It's going on six years, seven, six, seven. It's been a while. But it about killed us. It was just too much. We were going 24-7, holidays included, weekends and all. Valentine's Day was Valentine's killed. Day. I was never slept. Killer. I never slept on February the 13th, ever. Never. Not night or any. Literally, I'd come home from the shop, take a shower and go back and be ready to go at 6 o'clock because we had people picking up orders that early. Anyway, those were days of go by. Anyway, I don't know how we got off on that. There went a rabbit, and here I go after it. Yeah. We're going to be making flowers. So we may show y'all some flower making. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we used to do a lot. Mm -hmm. We used to make thousands at this time of year. This would have been a busy week. I still have kind of like... You know, when May comes around, you got that stiff and get, get, get busy. <laughs> May feeling. And we've got a homecoming, a family reunion. Uh, yeah, family reunion, homecoming, coming up. So we're going to be cooking for that. We'll be bringing out the big bowls. I used to have a friend. She's departed now. She was, she was quite the character, Miss Rita. And um, you would say, "We've got company coming." And she says, "Oh, you'll have to put the big, you'll have to put the little pot inside the big pot this time." I don't know where she got that from, but she'd always say, you'll have to put the little pot in the big pot tonight then. Meaning, I guess what you normally cook, you better double it. But, uh, so we're going to be making, and we'll let y'all in on it, we're going to be making potato salad, macaroni salad, baked beans. I think that's, and who knows what Momo will come up with on the side. So, busy weekend. Wonderful weekend. Looking forward to it weekend. Looking forward to seeing family. Looking forward to getting together and eating. Looking forward to the Memorial Day activities. Uh, it's the first holiday. It's the, uh, we get to see a baby that we ain't got to see before. Just pictures of it. And uh, it's the official opening of summer. There'll be more hot dogs and picnics and goodies. and It'll be great. That's what our family reunion's done this year. You know, a lot of our older cooks have gotten older, some of them have passed. So we're doing hot dogs, hamburgers, 
all the trimmings, all the fixings, and all the sides. And that way it kind of narrows it down than a potluck. Because potluck, you know, you want a, a meat and two or three vegetables from each family, and they all have to bring, bring, bring. This way, everybody, some people are contributing to the meat, some people are going to do the slicing of all the goodies, and some people are doing the, we're doing sides. I mean, just good, good stuff. Good stuff. So, uh, looking forward to it. It's always good to visit with family. Mommy, anything you want to add? No. You've just talked and talked and talked. No wonder we can't get out from here. I know it. I'll do better. That's what she says to me. <laughs> I'll do better. Or try to do better. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. I'm going to go for a game trouble. I got to go water flowers. Yeah. Y'all have a blessed night and have a great tomorrow. And do something that thrills your heart. Do something yeah. that brings you joy. That's, That's what it's right. all about, folks. That's what Goodbye, it's all about. Goodbye, Mama, and God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all.